What's up guys? So I've got my Golf R up on the lift, so I figured this would be a good time to show you guys the ECS tuning street shield. So here's the OEM skid plate, street shield, and that's the ECS tuning aluminum street shield. So I'm going to show you how to install that real quick. Uh, pretty simple. I think it's a pretty good mod. Definitely keep the, the oil pan safe. So uh, hope you enjoy this short video. With the street shield, you have your eight T25 screws that go around the perimeter just like the OEM street shield. Uh, but in addition to that, you get another one of these nuts with another T25 for this front here. And then you get three T30s to fasten the back of the street shield on. That's the only difference, so let's uh, get this thing installed. All right. So you're going to want to remove the OEM skid plate. You will need a T25 Torx bit to remove the 8 screws on either side of the skid plate. While you are removing the screws, you will want to make sure you don't lose the clip nuts. They are clipped under the bumper but can slide off pretty easily. When you have all 8 screws removed, there are two clips on the front of the skid plate. Push those up and pull the skid plate towards the back of the car. It should slide right out. Now, onto the ECS Tuning Aluminum Street Shield. A link to this part is in the description below. The first step in this install is clipping that extra clip nut over the hole on the middle tab on the front of the bumper. Next, the skid plate has to be aligned and fastened. Although aluminum is a relatively light metal, this skid plate is by no means a feather. For that reason, I had some trouble holding it up to the car and fastening it at the same time. It is much easier to either work with a buddy or lower the car so you can push up on the plate while laying on your back, but I didn't want you guys to miss out on the fun, so I had to do a little problem solving, as you can see. When you finally get the street shield up to the car, you want to make sure that you have the front tabs alternating in and out of the bumper, basically the only way it will fit into place. The tabs should hold the front of the shield up, but the extra clip nut in the front doesn't clip as tightly as the OEM clip nuts. So you may want to start that middle screw to keep it in place. With that started, you can grab one of the T30 screws and one of the spacers provided. With the spacer behind the street shield, start fastening the T30 screw. This will hold up the back end of the shield, so you will no longer have to hold it up. I would suggest not tightening the screws all the way just yet. This way you will have some wiggle room to align the street shield for the other screws. You can now go around and start the remaining two T30 screws in the back and the eight T25 screws on the sides. After all the screws are started, you can tighten them all down. Here's a closer look at each of the screws and their placement. So that's the installation for the ECS tuning aluminum street shield. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like more content, subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As you can see, it's a very easy mod, and I feel much more comfortable having my oil pan protected by a metal shield rather than a plastic one. So I hope to see you next time. See you later.